Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome to a video where I want to cover the developer Q&A that they just released in the official Phasmophobia Discord. I will also be leaving a link to the official Phasmophobia Discord and my own Discord in the description if you want to check them out and join them. Uh, but let's uh, just hop right into the developer Q&A. Uh, the first part is about the devs themselves. So if you didn't know, uh, DK uh, Niter is the original dev developer of Phasmophobia and now we also have CJDXN, I hope I'm saying that right, as a lead artist and Ebla Vendor um, as uh, also uh, also as a developer so this is there's basically three times of developers now which should be uh, amazing for the game itself uh, so this part is about the first part is about them as people uh, if you want to check that out again you can join the uh, phasmophobia discord and check out the developer q a i will mostly be covering uh, this part uh, or i will only be covering this part i want to go over future development new gameplay features art and animation uh, and vr um stuff because this is really just like impactful for the game and its future plan so let's go over that let's just read it through and i'll give my own um comments as they come uh what we what would you say is the general priority now that we have additional developers our main two goals are to improve the overall gameplay of phasmophobia and add new content yes seems uh, seems fairly obvious uh will you start developing any new games now that you have a larger team they're called kinetic games uh, as like a company um and they won't our stock priority is to work on phasmophobia until it can come out of early access as the best game it can possibly be which i think is a fairly obvious idea because phasmophobia is already is like a huge project even with three people so yeah uh, especially the scope of the game like how, how it big it has gotten online uh, on youtube and twitch as well it's a, it's a huge game it's a really fun game um and uh, people realize that so yeah uh, i'm glad that they just focus on phasmophobia people want to mod the game to be able to get more enjoyment out of it will there be any mod support in the future there are no plans sadly to add any modding support now the reason is that we have a vision for phasmophobia and we want to keep the game uh true to its core values which I think that a uh, mods like as the game is fully out then adding mod support could be awesome there could be some really fun uh things maybe minor mods or maybe minor changes that they could implement themselves something that I would love myself is like a no sanity mode or some other crazy I don't know just things that are not supposed to replace the the like core game not like a different game mode or something that is like th that you should always turn on to have to get the most experience the most money stuff like that but just something if you want to do a special run or you want to do a challenge like something a challenge run randomized equipment randomized i don't know anything like that could be really cool and could make the game i mean last forever um which i think that it is a little bit unfortunate that there are no plans at all uh and not that they're not even like it doesn't seem like they're really going to ever do that which i mean uh as uh, the reason is fairly i think the reason is is pretty strong so i i agree with them I, I, ultimately it's uh completely up to them so yeah are there any plans to include more accessibility options? Yes, we are going to add UI elements for people without microphones to interact with the ghost, Ouija board, and the spirit box. We're also uh, looking into adding callbite options for the graph and other UI elements. So yeah, accessibility, um, something like, I don't know why this is not in the game yet, but something like uh, an auto sprint. Uh, I don't know why that's not in the game yet, but yeah, it's uh, something like that. Accessibility options where uh, people that have certain, like, I mean, accessibility issues uh can play the game better would be awesome colorblind great stuff like that um i i don't know how this is going to work in multiplayer i hope it's not going to be really strong where you could just like spam a button like make the ghost angry make the ghost angry make the ghost angry just auto clicker make the ghost angry button that would be awful <laughs> i hope they're not going to do that uh but yeah we'll, we'll see um, will you be releasing on consoles or other platforms? We'll be looking into porting the game onto consoles and other platforms as soon as possible now that we have a larger team, which is great. A lot of comments. I've gotten a lot of comments about this. Like, I, I'm so sad it's not on, on PS4, Xbox, stuff like that. And now they will do that. I don't think they're going to go on mobile. I've also had people comment about when will this be available on mobile? I don't think it'll go mobile, but... Uh, it will definitely go, as they say, onto the like console store. So that's awesome. Uh, and I hope there will be crossplay too, by the way, because that would be really cool. Uh, now that the team is larger, will there be any? Will there be more frequent updates? Larger content drops will be released in a similar schedule to the, what they are now. However, the quality and scale of these updates will be larger. Smaller patches and bug fixes will now be more frequent as we have more people to find and fix them. 
all right so this is like the, as as people were speculating like will there be more patches or will the patches be bigger it seems like they are going for the second option where the patch will just be bigger and higher quality which is honestly nice for someone as me that makes content on the game if they release a patch every week i would be glued to phasmophobia and i could never never even take a break because i would have to cover everything every single week uh so I, i'm fine with the larger content updates uh uh so there's i mean more to cover at once so that's cool uh, will the beta version of the game remain the same for future updates? We are going to be restructuring how the beta is used for the game. We want to make sure that the future that future updates are received by everyone at the same time for the best experience. Now, so I, I was a little bit confused by this, so I also asked uh, in the content creator chat what this actually means, and it seems that they basically want they they want there to to like this this is the most important part they want that everyone receives the content at the same time date they, they don't really know exactly they just said that they're not exactly sure what this means if they're gonna test it internally and just release it in one go on the current patch or or what what else they want to plan with this or if there's still gonna be a beta at all um i this is of course something that doesn't really matter for the most experienced phasma players but for the general population people that just buy the game on steam and just play on the current patch version this will matter um i i don't really know what is against like the way we've been doing it now where content creators and everyone covers the patch and everyone can play the patch right away earlier uh because it's also really fun to play with the bugs honestly i really I, I would not be against just make just removing the beta branch and making current patch basically the beta branch where there will be some bugs and there will be some I don't know things that break here and then but that's just fun that's part of the game experience in my opinion uh so I'd, i wouldn't be against that but yeah we'll have to see how this goes this is mostly important for people like me that play the game a little bit too much so yeah uh new gameplay features will you be adding any new game mode something that people have always been asking phasmophobia is and always will be a co-op ghost hunting game we don't want to change this too much and would rather add as much as possible to the core gameplay i completely agree 100 percent i generally do not understand uh when someone asks like why is there not a gameplay mode where you can play as the ghost like that's just dead by daylight or whatever whatever other asymmetric game you want to have that's just not what phasmo is phasmo is a puzzle game where the puzzle is an ai that fights back it's honestly genius like if you explain it like that like how can you not love that concept it's just such a great idea and i am glad that they are not going to cave into the like people that say that without even really realizing that that would just be a completely different game and would not really fit at all so yeah i'm glad with that uh what are you going to add to the core gameplay to keep it fresh We've got lots of plans to add new evidence, main uh, slash optional objectives, and new ghost types. Keep an eye on the Trello. I will also link to Trello in the description, uh, which is basically where they post like all the ideas of what, what they have planned for the future in more like concrete, um, like like patch patch notes basically like future patch notes is kind of what they are. Like we're gonna add this ghost or we're gonna add this map, uh, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. That is, uh, they, they've got, they've got, they plan things to add to the game. Like they, they want to add more stuff to the game. Great, great things. I love that. Um, of course, uh, experienced players have mastered the game. Do you have any plans for any new challenging content for the veteran ghost hunters? We are planning to do a large overhaul and rebounds of the three difficulty modes in the near future, near future. Uh, we want to make sure the game gets harder in fun ways instead of just being able to, for the, instead of just goes being able to hunt more okay um so that probably means they will maybe make like the current professional intermediate amateurs tune that down and then make the current professional tuned up because if this is the answer to this question that would have to mean that they are going to rebalance it in a way that makes the highest difficulty level more difficult because otherwise this would not answer this question if they were just going to make intermediate and amateur easier because that wouldn't solve the problem of experienced players mastering the game um which i don't think is a problem but um it would definitely be awesome for the game to be harder although i think that the roaming patch really has made the game harder in a fun way i hope they explore that a little bit more i've been saying that a bunch in my videos already but yeah i hope they uh explore the roaming mechanic more and give you stuff to 
to work with that like to, to 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 lock the ghost in an area or force it in a different area stuff like that would be really interesting to me um just just more depth to the game would uh, make the mastering take a longer time which i think would be the best option um but yeah i don't know what this means exactly of course uh, this is all vague kind of it's just a vague q a but i i wanted to cover it nonetheless uh art and animation uh, now that Kinetic is an artist, what assets, animation, and effects can we expect to be updated? A lot of assets, assets that are repeated among the different levels will be replaced. New bunnies, teddy bears on every single map. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, as well as updating anything that isn't up to par with the quality of the current or new assets. We'll also be doing full overhauls of certain visual aspects of the game. I would love... Uh, I don't know. I personally don't really mind the look of like... People that are like, they play House Flipper or like Thief Simulator or other games are like, hey, I know these assets from these other games. Does that really matter? Does that take away from the gameplay? Maybe it does if you've played these other games where there is no danger. Maybe it does really impact your gameplay and then I can see this being a, uh, a prop. But I would rather have new stuff, better stuff than replacing stuff that's already there because I don't really can think of anything that's like, that's just ugly. I wish it would be different. And it's like much lower quality than anything else i don't can really think of any map or anything that is like that uh, although i would love to see more ghost models and more maps and more assets in general but yeah. will you add more personality to the ghost yes we want to make each ghost scarier in its own way we have planned to add themed horror to make each encounter different from the last each goat with would have its own set of scares and have its own kill animation death room to watch i hope they mean ghost model and not ghost here like just 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 have one just just make a team one person puts in all the items or don't even put in any items have one person die and then based on the ghost animation you know what goes to this and then you just leave that would be awful. I hope they don't mean what this says, but they actually mean something different because then you would know immediately which ghost it is based on a singular event. That would be awful. So I hope they mean ghost model and not ghost type. Um, I really, <laughs> that would be, that would take, that would remove phasmophobia from phasmophobia. So I don't, I don't think they mean that. That would be insane. So yeah, I don't think they mean that. Uh, I think they just mean we want to add more stuff to the ghosts and make the different ghost models unique and have them, because because that is exactly what it is right now. Like what ghost model of this means nothing. What name it is means nothing. So having the different ghost models have their own animations and their own scares and stuff would be awesome. So I think that's what they mean. I think that's what they mean. I think we can rest easy. <laughs> that phasmophobia will stay an amazing game. Um, are we going to see more classic horror trope ghost interactions like rocking chair, rocking, rocking chairs, rocking? <laughs> rocking chairs rocking i mean it's correct uh door slamming cabinet doors flapping sounds of scampering uh and dolls moving when backs are turned for sure we love old school horror and want to make uh, sure that the scares and phasmophobia are tense and interesting we don't want uh, we also don't want to resort to cheap jump scares for the majority of the horror which i think is a really strong aspect of phasmophobia which a lot of people already realize that it's good to have a game that is scary without relying on jump scares although the jump scares are mostly what get me at this point uh because the tension i mean i'm just so used to that but the, i'm off, i've also played the game for a thousand hours so i think it's not really fair to say that but yeah um so i i really like this i like that they're gonna do i don't know like a shadow moving across the window a chair rocking uh mannequins for example teddy bears teleporting those are really cool features that are in the game right now and i love that they're planning to add more of those but yeah we uh, that's that's awesome stuff uh vr the last part uh what are you going to do to improve the vr version of phasmophobia uh one of our first tasks will be to update upgrade the entire vr framework to work with the newer headsets we will always be looking at ways to make the vr version the best it can be which i think this is really fun i, I really like playing with the vr people the vr is hilarious i mostly because it's so <laughs> buggy so i maybe this will make it a little less hilarious but more i don't know functional um uh, will there be seated VR mode? Yes, it will be added alongside the VR frame object. So I update. I don't really play VR that much. I like to play with people that play in VR because they're funny. Um, however, I find just it's more of a problem of VR than it is a phasmophobia for me totally. I don't like having the 
headset on my head. I mean, as a streamer, the experience of having to look in the world at your wrist and just like have, be isolated in a way, uh, it just feels a little bit uncomfortable. It's not it's not the best, and I don't really have access to all the tools that I usually like to have when I'm streaming. Um, so yeah, that's why that's like an explanation why I don't really play VR that much. But uh, overall, I mean, it's a, it's it's stuff we already like they're making the game better they're planning to make the game better and now you have a little bit of an idea what exactly they want to hit like the targets they want to hit to make the game better i like the harder game uh, i would love to see more things to make the gameplay deeper and more uh th that there is more to master i think that would be the perfect thing for me personally because i love mastering games that's like the entire thing that i love about phasmophobia in the first place that you that there was so much to master so much to do uh, which is just, I don't know, kept it fresh. Even up till now, I'm still learning new tricks, new things, uh, which is awesome. Like the fact that that's still possible after a thousand hours, that's 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 like shows you how good of a game Phasmophobia is. And then the other stuff is like the new assets with a new artist is great stuff. Uh, and the, the events, I really, I can't wait to see the new events that they want to add just to make every run. Like it would be really cool if even after like a hundred individual games or melt more than that you still wouldn't have seen all the different scares like mannequins teleporting i think that's been in the game for like super super long time maybe even since the start uh and it took me a long time to realize that like stuff like that where things can still surprise you scare you uh even after many hours of playing it uh, it also gives you like these stories to share right i had this ghost i had that happened to me i had this poltergeist i had x thing and having more of those stories to really like make this such an anecdotal game is is really is a really fun thing i really love telling stories in phasmophobia having i don't know that's this i have made over 400 videos on phasmophobia and i still feel like i'm i'm not making the same videos basically like i i do i repeat challenges or i i i i upload just like a general gameplay but i still feel like i can i, I can put a spin on it every time and, and this is a really fun thing to do so yeah i i love phasmophobia and i am glad to see that they're expanding the team they are working on more, more things but i think that's going to be about it for this video sorry it took so long i could have just read this out uh but that would have been boring i wanted to add my own commentary to it and i hope it was somewhat it added to the experience. Again, links in the description for the uh, Phasma Discord and my own Discord and the Trello board if you want to check out what kind of specific things they have planned. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Uh, and if you want to join the streams, you can join us over on Twitch. But uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye-bye.